Oh boy, I'm spending a lot of money on this mock. Am I copying coconut bricks? I think I might be. This Mando hat was very, very tempting to buy, so I did end up buying it only for 15 bucks, so I think it's a good deal. Um, by the way, check out Coconut Bricks' his channel. Uh, I will link it in the description because he's also doing a big mock. It's a lot larger than mine, the Boo, actually. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check his channel out. This Mando hat will be very fitting for the series, so I thought I'd buy it for only 15 bucks. If you guys like it, then just let me know in the comments. Um, also, I spent a lot of money on this episode, so please hit the like button if you do enjoy because it will be much appreciated by me. Speaking of support, last episode got about 100 views in the first like three days, so that is awesome. Thank you so much guys for supporting me through that whole episode. You guys seem to love the series so far and I am just amazed how much support you have given me. Anyway. Let's get right into these sets. This first one I ordered on Amazon and it was a very good deal. I think I got five or ten dollars off on this. And yeah, let's just open it up. I think you guys are gonna be really excited for it. Um, I haven't really opened a box like this um, before because I don't usually order things on the internet. And look what we've got here. <laughs> yes, this set is going to be very important when I'm building Navarro. Um, sorry for the audio if it's a little worse in this room, it doesn't really have carpeting. Um, anyway, this is the Mando, this is the figure that I need the most. Also, Cara Dune will be very useful because she's also in the room with Mando. And then, I guess the ATST Raider along with the other two figures aren't that bad to have two because I think they're exclusive if I remember right. And I also got this for, I believe, um, maybe $45, I think. And it usually retails for $50. I just remember I got 5 or $10 off. So this is going to be a great and essential set for the monk. The next set is... Bastion and he is from Overwatch and this is not a Star Wars set. You might be like, why are you getting a non-Star Wars set, Micah? This is for the mock, right? Yes, it actually is for the mock and I'm just going to use a lot of these tan parts for it just for like the ground and the building, stuff like that. And here's the backside for you. And I got this uh, for $35, which is really good for pieces <laughs> because it has 602 pieces and that's pretty good price per piece so I really couldn't pass this up I got this at Target and um, this will be very useful for the mock if you guys do want me to build it on a live stream before I take it apart just to see how it looks then just please let me know in the comments below the reason I have the camera like this is because I want to do a speed build on this set I just finished the ATST and it is pretty cool. If you guys want me to do a review on this, just let me know in the comments. It has a lot of cool features and it's pretty detailed. It has a lot of stickers. Um, this is how many stickers it has. I believe it's 23, yes, 23 stickers. And you do get a lot of good extra pieces in it, but I really just got it for these two characters right here. And while I give you some close-ups of the set, let me explain what I will be using this for. So, uh, the Raider itself will actually be used most likely in my Imperial Army video. And then, of course, this is uh, Building Navarro. So, I guess the Mandalorian and Caro Dune will be used for the mock. And then the other characters you get in the set, I don't really know what I will do with them. But they are exclusive, I do believe so. Um, that will be just a fine addition to my collection, what can I say? Now that we have pretty much all the minifigures that we need for this area, it's starting to look amazing. 
Um, I will start to put some probably dead stormtroopers in here soon because I think that's what would make it more accurate. And then up here, I don't really have anything new. I don't have stormtroopers up here because I'm working on my Imperial Army video. And then I have two of these. I think there's one over here somewhere. Yes, there it is. And they're slightly different variants, but they're both um, kind of the water collecting things. I think that's what they're used for on Tatooine. So I thought I'd put them on here. Even though it's Navarro, it's a desert planet. So I thought I'd add that. And as you can see, um, right here, there is uh, a trend, a much better looking troop transport. So right here, I'm just going to give you a close up. So this is most likely going to be the final product. I don't know, however, whether I want this to be the turret or this to be the turret. So let me know. Uh, I'll name this one number one and this one number two in the poll um, above on the top right hand corner of your screen and so in here um, I think this was not the same <laughs> last time so um, right here there's like some big space for um, stormtroopers and I added some extra detail here that really looks a lot more accurate to um, the actual troop transport and then back here I just have some closed off areas because at this point in the mock, I don't think stormtroopers are going to be able to exit out of the transport, so I'm just going to keep them in there. And then up here it looks a lot more sleek, and then if I put one of the turrets on, I'm just going to put this one on so you guys can see a good comparison between the two. This is what it looks like, and here's the front. I did um, add a lot more detail, and uh, <laughs> down here it actually looks like it's hovering if you put it down here. Um, if you can kind of see that but yeah that's pretty much it for the troop transport it's a lot more detailed as you can see so I'm just gonna put that back here and another thing that I was working on was you know this TIE fighter I thought that I was gonna make it just stay like a normal TIE fighter but I started working a little bit more on it and here's the thing that I got here um, I still have to perfect it but right now what it does is you can just push in right here and this one fell apart whoops oh yeah it's because it only has one of these I probably need a little more parts I probably have enough parts for it but I just need to search for it this part right here is the thing that makes it work it's just um, one of the I don't really know what they're called but it just works kind of like this as you can see and yeah that's how the wings are gonna fold so it's gonna kind of look like this and I don't really know exactly if I need to um, put it up one more level. So like have a tile in between, um, or rather a plate in between this plate and this piece right here. So I don't really know for sure, but I might do that so it can dip down farther than this. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to work well for these wings, but I'm probably going to end up reconstructing the whole thing. Uh, just taking apart and rebuilding it so I don't know let me know in the comments if you really think that's important or not so also back here I added a little bit of crates just so uh, I got extra detail in there and it's actually kind of boxed off now so here's the vent the very iconic vent okay vents aren't very iconic but um, yeah they escaped through that vent uh, yeah, I have IG-11 somewhere around here. Wait, no, he's in my Imperial Army video. So uh, please watch that once it comes out or if it's already up. If it already came out while you're watching this video, then I will um, have a card up at the top right-hand corner of the screen if I didn't use them up already. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the progress right here. And that's actually all I have for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching and please watch that Imperial Army video if you haven't already and also be sure to keep up with the mock series by subscribing and watching the playlist that I have in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching, stay positive and have a great day.